Adirondack Tapanino Sustainable Parks and Communities Project uh, started in collaboration with the Tuscan Million Apennine National Park, um, which is also UNESCO Man and Biosphere Reserve in Italy. We've been working on the project here at Paul Smith for five years, and each summer we take students abroad for three weeks. In recent years, the project has evolved not only from looking at tourism, but overall looking at the UN 17 Sustainable Development Goals and how that region specifically addresses them. The park that we're working with, like the Adirondacks, is a, is a mountainous park that has snow in the winter and has wonderful local food products. So similar to the Adirondacks, both regions are, are struggling to maintain their uniqueness. It's a perfect setting for us to learn from them and us to share ideas here, especially around land use management and natural resource management as well. To me, the students are a critical part of this project. They are the core of this project. Without them, it wouldn't happen. The students are our set of eyes for that analysis. Without them, it would be, you know, one person looking at that. And it's not nearly as effective when you have a set of, you know, 10 to 15 eyes looking at it. When we bring them abroad, we're blown away by, we've prepared them all semester, but when the solutions they come up with while we're there is something that we never even thought of. The, the big challenge is, is economic. How do you transform local communities into truly vital places for multiple generations into the future? I think the idea that you're facing global issues helps you develop confidence you know, in your own communities and understanding that you know, the world is bigger just than just Paul Smith College campus and also your own you know, communities. And Paul Smith College is a leader already in interacting with the international community on sustainable development and rural resilience. Okay, so what we're facing here in the Adirondacks is not unique. Uh, what they're facing in, in, in protected landscapes in Italy and in Europe and in South America, Central America, there are similar challenges. And why not learn from each other?